sit there and members of the house who have too many hearings there they'll just repeat lies and then the ceos will sit there and nod their heads mm -hmm. so it's all just a big show and one of the things that we've heard infowars.com there will be some uh, focus <laughs> on broad questions social media giants facebook and twitter are going to be some day anyways why is it because in America, you have a right to face your accusers, and they never have me in these committees when they lie about me. And the CEOs on one side lie, and the people in the Senate and the House lie, and they, and they, they defame me. Hey, Jack, good to see you. In what way have they defamed you? I'm here to face my accusers, even though I'm not going to be asking questions by the committee. They've had more than 10 hearings the last year and a half. Where they lie about me. Sure, I'll go over here. Sure. Thank you, Jack. Can I get in there? Yeah, please. Want to get in there first? I'm going to do it in front. Want to do it in front? Get him here and then we'll get exclusive access. How are you doing, Jack? So you were saying that you felt like you were. When they had the McCarthy hearings back in the 50s, people accused of being Russian agents had a chance to be heard by the committee. But in the new America, where the mainstream media is the assassin of the press. And in the new America, you don't get to face your accusers. These committees in the House and the Senate sit there, or the 10 meetings I've watched the last year and a half, and lie about me and say things I never said and never did. And then I have no chance to ever respond. So now every time they have one of these hearings lying about me, lying about InfoWars, I'm going to come and I'm going to have press conferences in D.C. every single time because America is still a free country and we still have a right to face our accusers. So that's why I'm here. That's why I'm going to continue to expose the lies. I have zero connection to Russia. I'm an American patriot. Everyone knows it. And this whole Russia gate thing is about delegitimizing the election that the American people had in 2016. And it's a fraud. And as the president says, it is a witch hunt. But it's beyond a witch hunt. They have used the lies in these committee hearing meetings in the House and Senate to deplatform me and unperson me off of the internet so that I can't respond to the future lies and the straw men that they built. This is a danger to this country. In what free nation do they have hearings at the national level and talk about someone like Alex Jones, who works truly for hours, and then never have a chance to then be heard by the committee? What country have we turned into where the New York Times, the Washington Post, and CNN openly lobby to take me off every platform and openly lobby that anyone that talks about Alex Jones in a positive way will then also be blacklisted off the internet. Google and Apple are officially moving to China. They are adopting Chinese communist style tactics. They are helping censor and round up the political dissidents, the Buddhists and the Christians and others who are then taken and worked to death and their organs harvested. Just in 2006, 2010, they had committee hearings in this very Senate Committee on Intelligence and told Google, you are now evil. You are aiding and abetting evil. Look at the congressional record. Ten years later, there's zero discussion of Apple and Google and others moving to China. Apple has moved the iCloud to China and has given the government the code keys to everyone's Apple device. A total national security violation of the highest levels ever seen. It's well known that Hillary transferred the Office of Personnel Management files of 21 million U.S. government individuals and their families to the Communist Chinese. And that's why Trump's enemy number one. Because there's a globalist sellout of our country to Communist China and espionage carried out by the Democratic Party and many members of the Republican Party as well. That's why I've been targeted. 
So I can't have a press conference. As you can see in America, cannot face my accusers. That's how it works in this country. There you go, that'll be your newscast. They're from Texas, he's hearing you about me. They, they're, they're saying I'm a goddamn Russian. Back out, please. Back out, please. Back out, please. Alex, we're right back. We want to do an interview. Excuse me. Is it Paul for media? Well, you guys just got your news. Um, do you have any response to the fact that Twitter says that you specifically violated their terms of service? Well, you know, when. Peter Fonda said that he wanted to kidnap the president's son and put him in a cage with pedophiles to rape him. Uh, that violated their terms of service as well. They're all very subjective. They can say and do whatever they want. The media ran a hoax and said that I said things on Twitter I didn't say. And so again, uh, they can say all day I violated their terms. Jack Dorsey didn't take me off Twitter. And you, the so-called media, has been foaming at the mouth to get me further deplatformed so I can't respond to the lies. Think about this in America. Think about this in America, that I have been unable this is the 11th hearing that they've had in the last year and a half where I'm one of the main focuses and I have not ever been called to testify when they say outrageous, slanderous, defamatory things when they've had in the House Intelligence Committee, Senate Intelligence Committee, and others. They'll have people point blank uh, from the CIA, you name it, who are leftists, say Alex Jones works for the Russians. That is an outrageous lie beyond Joseph McCarthy, anything he ever did. But when McCarthy did it, he, the people got to come in and got to confront the committee and say, you have no decency. How dare you act like this? This is a hundred times worse than anything Joseph McCarthy ever did, and it's a shame. So, Mr. Jones, today's, this morning's hearing is specifically about um, preventing election manipulation. This afternoon's hearing is... Sure, sure, sure yeah, yeah, but every time we have these meetings, it, they bring up info wars. They claim they're taking info wars down to stop election meddling. Obama established with an executive order. He established with an executive order before he left office a, a special office that deals with foreign propaganda. What it's really been used is to target domestic populist popular groups. It, the real election meddling is by Facebook and Google and others that are shadow banning people, that are outright banning people, and they're blocking conservatives involved in their own First Amendment political speech. There is a giant crackdown that even the New York Times calls it a crackdown on conservatives and a plan to deplatform conservatives from the, from the internet and communicating with each other, just like communist China. This is dangerous authoritarianism, and they've packaged silencing Americans who are popular and well-spoken, as Tucker Carlson said about me on Fox News. Not because I, what I say is bad, but because what I say is effective and true and popular. So they build straw men and misrepresent what I said and do, and then they use that straw man to try to kick me off of the air. This is so dangerous to now have the New York Times foaming at the mouth, calling for me to be taken off the internet completely, and anyone who supports me being taken off. My God, this is true authoritarianism. Come to America, and you've got a bunch of dying corporate mainstream media that doesn't know what to do. And because they don't have any viewers or listeners, people that support them anymore, they think silencing independent media and silencing newswars.com and silencing infowars.com can somehow let them get control of the narrative and stop the giant political realignment that's happened in this country towards populism and free market and a 4.6% growth rate. That's what they want. That's what's going on here. I think we're out here with Jack Posobiec from One American News. Can you tell us This guy, Patriot. Naval intelligence, whole nine yards. Tell, Mr. Jones, tell them what's really happening here. Alex, what we've seen and what we're starting to see in a lot of this is a lot of censorship, primarily of conservative voices and independent voices. You know, one thing that a lot of people have said about you is uh, they talk about violence and inciting violence. But you know, from what I've been able to see from InfoWars, you've got a very strong anti-war perspective. How would you comment on that? Well, that's right. We had New York Times reporters lie about WMDs in Iraq. Uh, consciously, Judith Miller, and that got over a million Iraqis killed and tens of thousands of our troops. And I had the New York Times asking me about inciting violence. This is this is what they do. 
adjourn the hearing, the nomination process was compromised. Well, well this is the, 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 this is the Supreme matter. Court. You're talking about the media, right? You're talking about freedom of the press. Brett Kavanaugh does not believe in freedom of the press. He does not uphold the First Amendment right to protest and freedom of speech. Can I ask you this question? What do you think about the left openly pushing to have conservatives deplatformed and taken off the internet? I don't think that's the issue that we need to care about the most. What we need to protect right now is rule of law, democracy, the political process. Okay, so so conservatives, transparency. conservatives don't have any free speech. No. Alex, 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 uh, but Jack Dorsey uh, made it no. He interfered to help you in any way. Well, he he's denied that. So I just I mean I, I mean you asked the question. I don't know. All I know is this: simultaneously, four major tech giants in 24 hours admitted they colluded, violating Sherman Antitrust Act two, bare minimum to deplatform me, for more than 20 million subscribers total. People that chose to go click and link and listen to what I was saying and what I was doing. They told 20 million subscribers, you can't go listen to Alex Jones anymore. How un American is that? And then Jack Dorsey, who admits he's a liberal, and they let the leftists on their call for killing everybody, all sorts of violence, he said, look, okay, you could technically say Jones might have violated a rule here or there, but compared to the left and all the incredible violence they're calling for, there is no comparison. So the media's had to cherry pick things that I say on air. Like Chuck Todd this weekend said, the Democrats and Republicans are coming together in a call to arms against President uh, Trump. And, the, and some conservatives said, oh, they're calling for violence. No, they're not. It's a figure of speech, okay? So when I say we're in an information war and we're going to go over the top and we're in the trenches, those are all metaphors. Everybody knows what they mean, but the media won't show the video clips. They take words I said, like word salad, and put them together. And then I open up the newspaper, and it sounds like I'm saying the most outrageous stuff ever, which I won't even repeat here as a false quote because the media will run with it. So, Sir, can you tell us why you're here today? What is the way forward? What is, it, is it more regulation? Is it more laws? Is it other companies? What do you see as a way to break free of this situation? That's a really great question. From my research in top law firms here in D.C. and in New York and L.A., we have looking at this, and we have been getting information from the president, uh, briefs on this. And, and I, I told people a month ago he was going to take action. He started doing that. They're looking at Sherman Antitrust Act 2, uh, illegal collusion, uh, violation of campaign finance law, uh, in-kind donations by, the, by these big tech giants, blocking all conservatives, blocking members of Congress, shadow banning. That's billions of dollars basically in gifts to the Democrats by, by, by blocking their competition uh, from the free marketplace of ideas. So the president needs to move forward with a push for a blue ribbon commission on defense of the First Amendment. He needs to move now with executive orders. Uh, exposing that this is a new form of campaign finance uh, violation and in-kind gifts to the Democrats by big tech. Uh, he needs to continue uh, to expose what these companies are doing. He needs to send in uh, federal regulators uh, from the Federal Trade Commission because these companies are colluding together in fraud to suppress the marketplace. He, he needs to expand his move against Facebook for violation of the Unfair uh, Housing Act where they track your sexual preference, your medical issues, how old you are, where you come from to decide what to charge you. Everybody deserves to be you know, charged uh, the, you know, the same price with open market stuff, not being tracked with secret data. So what these big tech giants have done is gotten away with murder, violating our rights, working with communist China, suppressing populations, and just doing incredibly evil things, but because they all pose as liberal trendies and wear, you know, funny socks, it's all supposedly <laughs> cute. It's not. President Trump is and needs to move aggressively with only 61 days left till this critical historical election with worldwide implications of nationalism versus globalism and needs to stop the election meddling by big tech and the Democratic Party who are openly trying to steal this election at a million times what a few Russian bots could ever try to do. The truth is Facebook and Google are giant Democrat Party bots. We have the WikiLeaks from Schmidt, the head of Alphabet and Google, saying we are 100% Democrat, we are going to block everybody, and we're going to deliver Hillary into the White House.